Hey everyone, Mr. Montgomery again. Today we're on lesson 3-3. That means we're on page 117. So if you need to see the number a little bit bigger, it's 117. Okay, this is the page that we're on. If you are not on this page, pause the video. Make sure you open up to it. And then when you're all set, hit play. So if it's still rolling, I'm guessing you are all good to go. And now today, guys, we are going to be messing with doubles facts again. Now, we haven't done this in, I don't know, maybe like, what, two weeks or so? Um, so this is going to be a little bit of a refresher, but we're also going to make sure we can identify what a doubles fact is, how to solve it, and how certain pictures might be able to help us out. So let's go ahead and get down to it. So, ooh, in the story problem, I'm going to make sure I circle everything that is important, just like we always do. Carlos and Elisa each have the same number of books. They each have more than five books. How many books do they have in all? Now, they don't give us a specific number. They just said that they have more than five. Now, what numbers are more or bigger than five? Is five bigger than five? Nah. Is six bigger than five? Sure. Is seven bigger than five? Sure thing. How about eight? Yeah, it sure is. We can use eight. How about nine? Yeah, nine is two. So, let's go ahead and pick one of these numbers to use to help us solve this problem. Let's go ahead and stick with 6, okay? We're going to stick with the number 6. Now first, before we try to solve anything, we need to figure out if we are solving an addition or subtraction problem. So let's see, what were the hints? Uh, they each have more than 5 books. How many books do they have in all? We have these words in all again. We saw this last time too. So what does in all mean? Does that mean we're going to be using a plus sign or a minus sign? Go ahead, point to which symbol we're going to use. We are going to use our plus sign. So let's go ahead and make a little blank number sentence up top. We need a number space. We need our plus sign. Another number space. Our epic equal sign. And where our answer is going to go. So now let's figure out what exactly we're doing. We know that they each have more than five. How many books do they have in all? Oh, and don't forget, I said in the first sentence, Carlos and Elisa have the same number of books. So we're not saying that Carlos has six and Elisa has seven. And since we circled six, they both have to have six. Why do they both have to have six? Because it says they have the same number of books. So we can't pick two different numbers. So how could we use this space right here to figure this out? Well, just like we've done before, we can use a quick picture. And our picture, maybe we should try to make it look a little bit like books since we're, you know, counting books. And books are like a rectangle. So we're going to make rectangles. So on each side, we're going to go ahead and make six rectangles. Or should I say, six books. Go ahead and make six rectangles with me on each side. If they end up looking a little bit more like squares, that's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, now if you need more time to draw, go ahead, pause the video, take your time drawing. If not, well, let's start solving this. Now, let's remember that each side of this chart, right? I'm going to use two different colors here. This whole side 
is one part, right? We can say that this is Carlos's side. And if you want, you can even write his name on the side. Carlos. These are his books. On the other side, we have Elisa's books. So this is a whole different group, okay? And you can even write that down. It is Elisa. So now let's figure out how to make this number sentence. We know that they each have to have more than five, which they do, right? We gave them both six. So what would be the first number in our number sentence? Well, you could pick either one because we're adding, especially since we know that they're supposed to have the same number, right? Because here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. You can go ahead and write that number down if you want. And then over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six again. So all we're doing is we're going to take this first part and write it on the first line. So we have six. Put a six there. For our second part, we're going to write it on the second line, right? No big surprise there. We've done this before, which is six again. And now if we are having trouble adding, we already know that we can just count the, or use the picture to count all of them together and find out the total. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you know what? Let me go start over and make dots. So you can see exactly what I'm counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we have a total of twelve all together. So our answer is 12. We had 6 in one side, 6 on the other side. Put them together, we get 12. Now, is this a doubles fact or not a doubles fact? This is a doubles fact. And how do we know that? Because we have the same number twice. And that's how we know. So let's go ahead and turn to page 118. And we're going, to do, we're going to do a couple practice problems together. All right, guys, here's what page 118 looks like. I'm going to circle the page number at the bottom here, page 118. And at the top, they are showing you exactly what we're going to be doing. So if you look at the, uh, this little example up here, we have three cubes. This is one group, so they put a three down, right? This other cube tower. This is another group. And there's one, two, three also. That's where they got this three from. Then they just counted them up and found out the total and that's where they got six. Now, over at the end, we see something similar but it's a little different. Look at this first tower and you can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six cubes. That's where they got that six. But next to it, our tower is a little bit shorter. Over here, we have just one, two, three, four, five cubes all together. And that total is 11. So we will be having some that are doubles facts. This is a double. This is not a double. And we know that this is not a double fact because these two numbers are not the same number. We have a 6 and a 5. They're different. But over at the smaller towers here, right, we had two 3s. They are the same number, so it's a doubles fact right there. So let's go through number 1 really quick. Okay? And then you're going to try number 2 on your own in just a second. So first thing we do is count the first tower. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So this first number is 5. On the second tower, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we write 6 on the second line. And now we just need to count them all. 
Find out the total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 11 all together, and that's how they got this answer. But then we need to put or circle if uh, this is a doubles fact, which is the first choice. It says doubles fact. Or if it's not a doubles fact, we'd circle the second choice. So you can see that we have a 5 here, but a 6 in the second spot. So this is not a doubles fact because both numbers must be the same. Go ahead and try number two completely on your own. Remember the first tower goes on the first spot, the second tower goes in the second spot, and then circle if, it's, if it is a doubles fact or if it's not a doubles fact. All right, if you're still working, pause the video, take your time with it, and hit play when you're ready. So let's go ahead and figure out what kind of addition sense we're making, and if it's a doubles factor, not a doubles. So in our first column, we have one, two, three, four. So our first number is four. Second tower, we have one, two, three, four. So four goes on second line. And now we can solve this by counting all of them together. Or if you're like me, you like using touch dots, we can do that too. For number four, you put a touch dot on every, every uh, little point. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or if you'd like to count the cubes, that's fine too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, is this a doubles factor, not a doubles? Well, we look at these two numbers that we're adding, and they are exactly the same. So we circle the first choice that says that this is a doubles fact. All right. Let's just do one more together on the next page, page 119. Okay. All right. So it might look a little different on this page, but I want you to try number three on your own. Just remember, each little tower is its own group. Okay. Now go ahead, make an addition sentence, solve it, and then circle it if it is a doubles fact. Right? If it is, circle this one. If it's not, then circle the second one. All right. Go ahead, try number three on your own. Okay, if you're still working, take your time, pause the video. But if you're all done and you want to see if you're correct with your answer, let's go on and check it. Okay, so first row of uh, cubes has one, two, three, four, five, six. So first number six. Our second one is one, two, three, four, five, six again. So now we have six plus six. And just count them all to see what the total is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So six plus six equals twelve. Now, was this a doubles fact or not a doubles fact? Well, since we have two sixes, this absolutely is a doubles fact. All right. So what I would like you to try on your own is numbers four all the way through 10. Do the entire rest of the page. I want you to answer every single one. If you get a little thrown off by number eight, it's the same thing as saying nine plus nine equals blank okay don't let the fact that they uh, put it 
you know, backwards throw you off at all. Still doing all the same steps, okay? Uh, if you're not in my class, make sure you let your teacher know that the video is done. Ask him or her what they would like you to do next, because it might just be this anyway. All right, but I hope this video helped, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please make sure that you let me know. Otherwise, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.